So phase two is we're growing grass now, so we're spraying the greens with a growth rate later to shut them down. And we always do a board check, maybe a dog check in this instance. Maddie, come here. And the board check just lets us know what um, not having a growth regulator would be like. So when I move the board, you can see that the blue dye we use, which is pretty garish. Um, but I'll be able to look at that each day and see the color and texture response, leaf growth and be able to discern the growth regulator, its effect when it starts and all. It takes about four days before it becomes active on the plant. So now we're applying a heavy top dressing. And um, this is kind of to fill in the, the thin areas in the canopy. And this is gonna help firm up the green. So it's kind of a overcast day, so we'd hope for drier weather to, to really dry it out and brush it in, but it should brush in well, and you'll still see it for a week or so down below. But this is gonna help smooth the greens out, and as I said, firm them up. So the next phase in recovery is we measure our clipping yield each day. Um, by doing that, we, we look at the volume, we can determine uh, if a growth regulator we put down is shutting them down. So we'll mow particular greens each day and empty the baskets and measure the clipping yield. And you can see the drop from day to day to day. So we know the growth regulators kick in. Even though we've fertilized to get the recovery going sooner, we're at the same time trying to shut down that top growth so we can get our speeds back up. So each day over the last four days, we take clipping yields from the number 12 green. And uh, you can see it's dropped from 10 liters to five to two and a half to now approximately one and a half liters. So the growth regulator is kicked in, just a little bit of sunshine and uh, we're, we're on the road to full recovery and firm fast green.